Hey guys, welcome back to Miss Survival. So today's video is going to be totally awesome and we are going to try to do the knife only challenge and that is to take out an entire bandit camp with a knife only. So before you do something like this, just make sure your inventory is cleaned out. I mean, I cannot emphasize how important this is otherwise you're gonna die even if you guys look here I literally just got a knife and even if I do come over here I just literally have got some shoes and gloves left but that doesn't matter at all so we're just gonna run there I mean that's not even that far my chickens walking up and down there the same healthy and fat even though I haven't feed them yet so yes, we are going to go to the abandoned camp. We are currently here at the White House. So we're going to go to this main road. We're going to follow it all the way down. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to be as stealthy as possible. I'm, I just actually got to pick up some sticks, some branches, sorry. I, I'm trying to make some more arrows. I want to go take out the Berserker boss. And I actually heard there's like a glitch. So that will be a future video coming out. So yes, we are going to have to be really, really stealthy while taking these guys out. So this is not a big bandit camp, we'll take on the bigger bandit camps later in time. This one only has got three people. So the nice thing is, is that if you time it correctly, you'll actually find one person walking down here. You can then quickly get him, I think he's gonna stand here on the cliff, you'll be able to get him from behind. You know, other guy usually just stands there by the road, you can get him. And it's the other guy that's a problem that usually walks up and down. So we're gonna have to be extremely, extremely stealthy. And I know they are back for a fact because they were shooting my car. We're just gonna keep our knife out. All right, there's the one. You guys can see the one person over there. So usually there's the other guy that's gonna walk past him now. He's gonna walk that way, and that way, and we can get him. Oh, 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 oh! I think he saw me. All right, no, we're fine. We're fine. There he goes. So you don't want to run straight up towards him. You can crouch. But there's usually a guy walking up and down. So be very careful. Take a very long walk. You're going to technically just get behind him. They can't hear. And you're going to press F to execute. There we go. We can crouch down. Let's just take his food. Doesn't seem like he has a gun. So we got the other person still standing there. Oh, right there. Right there's the other guy that walks up and down. So we're just going to get down quickly here before he sees us. Because once they see us, it is goodbye, guys. Literally, literally, literally. So from this point on, we want to take this guy out. All right. There we go. That guy's actually walking back now. We're going to get behind him and kill him as well. There we go. So we're not going to loot him now. We're going to run back. We're going to come this way. Let's get on the dustbin. I don't see him. He's probably standing there. Where is he? I can't see him. I wonder if he didn't maybe see me or saw me and then all right this is actually scary now where did he go Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is. Did you guys see him? He's, he's right over here. There he's walking. All right, he's coming this way. He hasn't seen us yet. All right, that's not good. He's looking this direction. All right, he's going. All right, so we're going to drop behind him, and we're going to grab him. Yoink! There we go, guys. We just took out the entire bandit camp. So as easy as that, we can take... What is that? Is that like a damaged rifle? Weapon part, crafting material. So yeah, that is exactly how you do it, guys. We get all of these extra stuff. It's actually not that difficult. But I actually did forget to bring a crowbar. Usually this one, it locks up every time they respawn. And there's usually some, usually some good loot in there. So as you guys can see, there's no loot in the rest of the camp. 
I mean, let's just have a quick look. I could have brought an axe as well to destroy these cars. You do get some material from them as well. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything. There's going to be probably something in this room. I think I see components there on the floor. Yeah, but usually if you did loot it the first time, you won't get so much loot the second time. But anyway, guys, that is how you take out uh, the entire bandit camp. Once again, you just stand here and wait for that guy to go. you got to kill that guy first. I mean, you can kill the other guys first, but it's recommended to kill that guy first. And then you're going to kill the guy standing over here. And then this guy usually walks up and down in this area. You're just going to go around and technically when he walks his way, get him from behind. Or just, yeah. You see, I actually prefer going that way and taking him from behind as he walks this direction. Because usually he walks up two years. So if you stand here, he might see you. And there's no place to actually see where he is at or when he's going to turn. I mean, you can look through these holes, but it's not really that recommended. So, but yeah, once again, just as we did, we got him from behind. I actually went extreme, climbed on the roof, jumped behind him and assassinated him. But anyway, guys, if you guys did find this useful, entertaining in any other way, please do leave a big like on this video. If you guys want to see a similar video, hit the icon on the left. If you guys want to see my most recent video, hit the icon on the right. And if you guys would love to support the channel by subscribing to it, uh, please do consider by hitting the logo at the bottom right corner. But for now, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see all of you guys a little bit later.